Are you wondering how much salt you should add to your swimming pool? Well, you're in luck because that's what this video is all about. Let's get started. Hi there, I'm Louis from Pool Advisor and I'm here to talk to you all about pool salt calculations, specifically how much salt you should add to your pool. First up though, I'll just quickly discuss why it's important to maintain a good salt level in your pool. Saltwater pools um, are different from regular chlorine pools in that they actually have a salt chlorinator which generates chlorine from the salt that's in the water in your pool. Chlorine is absolutely essential for maintaining a sanitary environment in our pool and for ensuring the safety of our swimmers. We're all about trying to make sure there's no bacteria and algae growing in the pool that could make us sick. If you don't have enough salt in your water, your chlorinator will not be able to generate enough chlorine and therefore you will have unsafe conditions for swimming. You won't have enough free chlorine to guarantee that algae and bacteria are not growing in the pool. So it's really important that we maintain correct salt level. So how do we measure our salt level? Well, there's a few different ways. You can basically look at the meter on your salt chlorinator. Um, most chlorinators will have a salt meter on there, which you can just go and take a reading of. You can also use some testing strips, which can be used, you can just dip them in the water and they'll tell you what the salt level is. Pretty easy to use, and I'll put a link to them in the description below. You can also use a digital salinity meter, which is a little handheld portable meter that you can then dip in the water and it will tell you what your current concentration of salt is in the water. And I'll put a link to that in the description below as well. So when you're measuring the concentration of salt in your pool, what should you be looking for in terms of a appropriate level? This does depend upon the brand of salt chlorinator that you're using. So do refer to your manufacturer's instructions there. But generally about 2,700 to 3,400 is recommended as the ideal range for salt in your pool. So if you've got less than that, you wanna look at adding more in there or if conversely, you've added too much salt and you need to get rid of some salt. How do you calculate how much salt to add or how much water to dilute to lower your salt level? Well, I've actually created a calculator over at pooladvisor.com.au and that will run you through exactly how much salt you need to add or how much water you need to add to dilute out the salt concentration in your water. And I'll give you a quick run through of that now. So here is the pool salt calculator over at pooladvisor.com.au and I'll have a link to this calculator in the description below. It's 100% um, free for you to use. Um, so please feel free to check it out and, um, and give it a go. I think you'll find it um, a lot simpler than trying to do the calculations by hand. So all you need to do is you first up need to enter the volume of your pool in liters. And if you don't know this, you can click on this checkbox and we can calculate your pool volume based on the dimensions of your pool. And it supports quite a few different pool types. Let's say, for example, that we do know our pool volume and say that it's 50,000 liters. Then we would simply um, enter that. And then now down here, we would enter our current salt concentration. To so say we had a concentration of about 2,500 ppm, and we wanted to increase that to about 3,200, say, which is, a, which is within that recommended range I was saying before of 2,700 to 3,400. If you did that, then the pool salt calculator here is gonna tell you exactly what you need to say that you need to add salt to your pool to reach the desired salinity. That's because the current salinity is less than the desired one. Now, if you had a smaller pool, for example, you would need much less salt, only 14 kilograms. And if you had a much larger pool, you would need more. For a 50,000 litre pool, we'd need 35 kilograms. Say that we only had 1,500 ppm of salt in our pool, we'd actually need quite a bit of salt, 85 kilograms, which is over, over four of those standard pool salt bags. Likewise, if we'd added too much salt to our pool, then and say we had a concentration of 3,500 ppm in our pool, and we wanted to bring that down to 3,200, the calculator now says that we need to dilute out our pool water to reach our desired salinity. So we need to, rather than add salt, we need to take away some, but it's not as simple as just taking away the salt. We actually need to waste some of the water in our pool and put in some fresh water. And so, so this is now saying that to achieve, to go from 3,500 down to 3,200, we would actually need to pump out 4,300 liters of water and then refill our pool with that same volume of water. And that's assuming that you've got quite a low salinity in your fill water, that you're using mains water with low salinity. If you're using bore water or something with a higher salinity, you would actually need to pump out more and refill more. And you can also calculate how long that will take, for example, to fill the to fill pool back up based on your hose flow rate, which you can calculate. And that's saying it would take about five hours to refill that water, for example, um, the water that you pumped out and then refilled. You have to be careful when you are pumping out and refilling. You don't want to pump out more uh, too much at once. If you lower the water level in your pool too much, there is a chance that the surrounding water table is higher than the actual water level in your pool, which will start to push on the pool and can even 
make it pop out of the ground a little bit. So you do have to take a lot of care when doing that. It's recommended that you do that in a few steps. Maybe don't do the whole 4,300 liters, you know, do it in at 2,000 liters, pump that out, refill, do another 2,000 liters, pump it out, refill, and then measure your salt again and see how you're looking. So yeah, that's how the pool salt calculator works. There'll be a link to that in the video description below. So please feel free to check it out. Well, that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, I hope this video has helped you. If it has, please like and comment on it. I would be really appreciative if you did that. And please subscribe to my channel where I will be releasing more videos on pool maintenance. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.